Hello students, now this video will be beneficial for two kinds of students. One is the students who are aiming for 70 marks, full marks in the board examination and the other kind of students who are having some doubt whether they will get pass mark or not. So both kind of students will get benefit from this video. Now the, if you see the entire paper structure, the in your paper there will be questions of following five pipe types there will be definitions direct definitions there will be questions based on units and you will be asked to give the units of certain physical quantity or you will be asked to give the dimensional formula for the physical quantity so for all mark the dimensional formula and units for all the physical quantities which you have studied in entire volume 1 and volume 2 of your NCRT textbook then there may be a few questions based on reasoning type like example I have given the standard resistance coil is made of magnetic why what is the reason for having this material now the reason is as what is given in the NCRT is magnetic has very low temperature coefficient of resistivity so even if there is a variation in temperature the resistivity or the resistance won't change much so because of this standard resistance coil are made of magnetic then next you have you will have numerical problems now for cbc board students they will have numerical problems around 14 marks but for assam board students who are writing the board exam under assam high secondary education council last year they had numericals of 17 marks so for them the marks variation will be between 14 to 17 marks now if you type see the type of questions that has been asked in past few years you will see that there are two kinds of questions some questions are direct formula based so if you know the formula you will be able to solve those questions now there will be around 50 percent questions which are direct formula based so there will be seven to eight marks questions which are direct formula based questions then there will be some indirect problems also which will be concept based so basically for this my advice is go through the question papers past papers as well as the ncrt exercise and uh, then the last part is the derivations the list of derivations i have given i've already uploaded two videos so you can go through those list of derivations so for your with regard to your preparation you divide your entire whatever you have studied till now divide those things into these five parts and make a proper list of items which are there in each individual part so that nothing is mixed and so this is for those students who are aiming for 70 marks and again those students who are having some doubts whether they will get get through with this examination or not so they should if, if they are thorough with the definition at least they should be thorough with the definition they should be thorough with the units and dimensional formula then they may find some problems in reasoning based sport problems but numerical problems direct questions they should be able to attempt derivations practice all the important derivations so with this strategy uh, they will be able to cross the, that safe level marks of 21 marks then there will be some questions based on devices so they will they are always every year there are some questions based on based on devices so uh, go through these devices the gold leaf electroscope in chapter electrostatics then capacitor van de Graaff generator it is not there in cbse board but for council still the syllabus is not revised so this topic is still there uh, wheatstone bridge beater bridge and potentiometer application of potentiometer velocity of selector in moving charges and magnetism cyclotron very important topic solenoid toroid then comes the moving coil galvanometer now in moving coil galvanometer you must also go through the conversion of moving coil galvanometer into emitter conversion of moving coil galvanometer into voltmeter then the Helmholtz coil last year in Assam High Secondary Council examination there was a question direct question based on this Helmholtz coil so this year there is a low probability that this question will be asked again but CBC, for CBC board this question may be asked now this question is there in the exercise in the chapter moving charges and magnetism then AC generator LC oscillator transformer very important topic you may be asked questions based on theory of transformer there may be questions based on numericals of transformer then optical instruments, human eye, microscope, microscope, both simple microscope, compound microscope, derivation for uh, 
uh, the derivation list I have already given this derivation for magnification telescope working of telescope reflecting telescope refracting telescope advantages and disadvantages of each type of telescope then photocell working of nuclear reactor each component role of each component in the nuclear reactor then rectifier half wave rectifier full wave rectifier if the full wave rectifier question is asked be careful if they ask the complete working of full wave rectifier then you must give the discussion about the uh, that filter circuit also that ripple factor uh, is removed with the help of the filter circuit so that part also if the five mass question is given so you must discuss that part also filter circuit in full wave rectifier then zener diode as voltage regulator that is also very important photo diode working of photo diode light emitting diode solar cells then work, uh, application of transistors as switch application of transistor as amplifier application of transistor as oscillator so you must go through these devices then there may be some questions which are graph based questions so i have already made, made a list of these graph based uh, terms which may, may be asked first is the variation of electric field intensity with distance for point charge charge sheet uniformly charged spherical shell and solid sphere then the variation of potential due to point charge with distance from the charge limitation of ohm's law so for non ohmic conductors there is a graph between current and voltage that is also given in the ncrt variation of resistivity resistivity with temperature for conductor for semiconductor for alloy in the ncrt they have given the graph for conductor for copper they have discussed for alloy they have for dichrome they have given the graph then hysteresis curve the advantage of hysteresis curve means application the uh, concept of retentivity and coercivity how this graph is used for construction of permanent magnet and electromagnet then the phasor diagrams in ac chapter ac through resistor ac through inductor ac through capacitor series lcr the resonance concept the quality factor then comes the prism angle of deviation versus angle of incidence graph interference pattern in young's double slit experiment uh, that intensity graph for the fringes again for diffraction also intensity graph for the fringes obtained then effect of uh, this photoelectricity effect of intensity of light on photo current effect of potential on photoelectric current effect of frequency of incident radiation or stopping potential then there is a graph for scattered particles versus scattering angle in alpha particle uh, alpha particle scattering experiment then the binding energy curve this is very important application of binding energy curve with respect to both fission and fusion reaction vi characteristic graph for diode for that forward biasing and reverse biasing input output characteristic curve for transistor again important transfer characteristic of transfer characteristic of uh, transistor, transistor. Uh, application of this graph in construction of switch and amplifier that uh, cut off region saturation region and active region cut off and saturation region are used for uh, working of uh, transistor as switch the active region part is used for uh, action of transistor as amplifier then the input output graphs for logic gates again this is very important you may be given a truth table and based on the truth table you may be asked to draw a graph or you may be given a graph and you may be asked to draw the truth table such questions are there in the back of the ncrt so you must go through those things so uh, these are the things uh, I thought it should be highlighted before you go and write your examination. So, with uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, my advice is give a serious thought to all the these uh, five points which I've given my first slide. Go through the list of devices. There will be a question based on devices. There will be questions on graphs. So. With this strategy, I hope both kind of students, students who are aiming for very high marks and students who have the fear that they will get uh, a minimum required marks, both students will be benefited. This is my, uh, this is as per my experience. So I hope uh, you do well in your uh, board examinations. My best wishes are good. Good, good luck.